Art inspires and engages. Art awakens our sense of wonder, stimulates us to think, and opens us up to new worlds and new ideas. If you appreciate a poem, if you like to read a novel, that's one way of understanding the present and the past psychologically and culturally. And works of art present a further opportunity to look at those kinds of issues and doing it in a different way. Art is all around us. Nature surrounds us with beauty that has inspired generations of artists. And the work artists create continue to enhance our lives in myriad ways. Art is not just the physical thing that you hang on the wall or stand on the mu museum floor. It is surrounded in a swirl of ideas, both that accompanied it from the past and are moving around it through it today with new questions about what it meant then and what it means now. Artists and art lovers have long flocked to the Berkshires of Northwestern Massachusetts, a region brimming with natural beauty, art, and culture. Ringed by a majestic landscape of hills and mountains lies the quintessential New England village of Williamstown and the Sterling and Francine Clark Art Institute, a facility with a complex and exhilarating arts mission. In terms of our core mission, we're not just an art museum, we're also a research and academic center. When people come here, they see the collections, they see the great exhibitions, they have fun um, in all of our galleries. But I think what makes it really special is that we're in a small, pretty New England college town with 140 acres of our campus, and they can walk around the campus and see art in different kinds of places. The Clark was created in the 1950s to house the private collections of Sterling and Francine Clark featuring diverse works ranging from Renaissance masters to an exceptional array of 18th and 19th century French art. We have one of the largest collections of paintings by Pierre-Auguste Renoir in America, uh, more than 30 paintings. So, so along with that we have American paintings, one of the great collections of Winslow Homer and John Singer Sargent anywhere. We have old master paintings and we also have great works on paper, prints, drawings, photographs, decorative arts, sculpture. Equally as important as its permanent collection and special exhibitions is the Clark's commitment to advancing a deeper understanding of all the visual arts. Its research and academic program engages leading scholars in wide-ranging programs that consider issues central to advancing this mission. The Clark as a, as a research institute and a museum combined make it what goes on here absolutely unique. We have brought the most illustrious scholars here inside this setting to talk about the way art thinks and means in the 21st century. We have lots of residential scholars who come here to work in our fantastic library, one of the five best art libraries in this country. And the other half is we put on lots and lots of intellectual events uh, that have to do with art, its role in society, its past interpreters. And so these two halves of the research and academic program get on very nicely together. As its programs and impact reach around the globe, the Clark continues to grow, evolve, and engage. We finished a, uh, an extraordinary um, uh, building by um, Tadeo Ando, which we call Stonehill Center, which is the home of a colleague institution that's on our campus called the Williamstown Art Conservation Center. And it's the home of a, a wonderful set of galleries that we, where we focus on contemporary art. And we also are in the process of finishing that program with a new visitor exhibition and conference center, as well as expanded gallery spaces. The Clark is also a gathering place for its community, hosting year-round activities including summer band concerts, film and lecture series, family events, and much more. It's a small setting, it's so intimate, and I think you feel like it's your own somehow. Um, it's not overwhelming, and there are pieces that you can come back and see time and time again. Everything I think has a piece or two that is their favorite, that they relate to. Uh, and I also think that it's very clear that the curators really care about 
the works and the shows that they're doing. And uh, somehow you walk in and you know that it is a special place. Continuing its commitment to global outreach and cultural exchange, the Clark launched its first international tour in 2010. For the next two years, 73 masterpieces from artists including Renoir, Monet, and Degas are touring the world with stops in Italy, France, Spain, England, Canada, Japan, and China. It is our hope that the, uh, the reputation of the Clark, the understanding of the Clark is one of the uh, special art museums, but also uh, unusual research and academic centers in the world becomes more well known and more people will, um, will visit here to Williamstown as global tourism and cultural tourism grows in uh, subsequent decades. Art, inspiring people, generating new ideas, connecting cultures.